here for a build breakdown here on torque drift i know we are doing multiple torque drifts in a row but that's because i am actually building a new wheelbase for my sim setup so the videos on the sim setup are a little bit behind because i'm building a whole new wheelbase a little bit stiffer and uh a different design to uh make you know it easier for getting in and out with other drivers so i'll have a full video on how that's being built and how basically i'm doing it coming to the channel as well but today we are doing a full build breakdown on our 180sx with the wise fab livery you guys saw the livery time lapse in the beginning very simple livery but i think it looks cool i like my simple liveries um if you guys have noticed a lot of my cars have very simple liveries but you know what they're effective so we're gonna go through the parts and the settings on this car so for our 180sx we are running there's my arrow we're running a thousand horsepower 652 foot pounds of torque so for the power plant of this we do have a stroked rb2060 et that we have in this car we are rocking a full um pro turbo as well set to 18 psi a boost as for the other stuff we do have some import parts in there so for our clutch settings we do have ne uh, 0.3 and negative 2.5 i don't really clutch kick that much in this car so that's why that's really far down there. You guys may have to change that for personal. As for ECU, we're pretty much at 5200, 12, and 10K. Rev limiter, getting that thing up in the business. And as for suspension, where the nitty gritty work of this car goes, we do have our you know, MST Suzuka wheels on there, painted blue in the front, white in the rear. That did change from when I did the livery. So, we are rocking in the front. We're rocking uh, 17 inch wheels, 40 by nine and a half in the front. And for the rear, we are going with the 17 by 35 and 11s in the rear. So that's what we got for our rim setup. We are running custom tires in the front and non cut and stocks in the rear. So for our angle kit, we are running more degrees of camber now, or more degrees of steering lock, 65, seven and a half, negative one, 
negative half and seven degrees of caster. That's what we're running in the front for our angle kit. As for our suspension setup, we are running 11 and 11 in the front. When we get to the rear end of the car, we are running 11 and seven, running a little bit softer in the rear, of course. And then for our angle kit, we're running it's right now it's at one, but I'm actually going to change this because I want to change it a little bit negative. So we're going to go negative, negative one in the rear and see how it runs at negative one. And then we're running one sixteenth for that. As for our differential, we are running 65% diff lock final drive of 4.4. And that is pretty much the setup that we are rocking here for uh, tire pressures. Tire pressure's in the rear, we're running 10 PSI in the rear, and I believe we're running 22 in the front, maybe 24. We are running 16 in the front. 22 is in my E46. So that's the build spec of my um, 180SX. So we're gonna go drift this thing, get it sideways, and uh, try and get some tandems with it. So I know a lot of people have been asking about, so here's a build breakdown for it. So what tracks we got? We got Atlanta, we got long beach and we got the yard so we're gonna hit we're going to hit long beach up because i do love the long beach section especially with this car so we are going to be rocking this 1006 horsepower pro level custom tires in the front stock tires in the rear this car runs in about third gear with the way it's set up um you can start it pretty much in third and stay in third or start in second and go up we're gonna go against another uh 180 so it's a little 180 showdown so we're gonna start in we're gonna start in second gear. And we're gonna start going, and once we get up to about 30, we're gonna kick it into third. You brake flick in, stay in third gear. Would have been like to get closer to that wall, but we're still uh we're still rocking it. Could probably go up into fourth gear if we really needed to, but third gear handles just as fine. We may try and go in fourth gear on another run because it will run fourth gear as well. But a respectable 103 to his a 91 so we got a pretty decent uh pretty decent run out of our opponent so we're gonna try and get a good chase hope you guys are enjoying all these torque drift videos like i said because i am building a new wheelbase my sim setup is a little bit torn apart at the moment so we are doing some torque drift content but advantage is we have the torque drift content to bring you guys even with the wheel setup being down cool We'll set up, we'll be back up very, very shortly, and we'll be getting back to Forza content and stuff like that. So, a 17,000 point chase, 18,000, sorry, correct myself. That could be enough to take the win. It will be enough to take the win, and uh, I think we're gonna have to try and kick this thing into fourth because uh, we had a little bit more power, so now we are set to some uh, more or less less grip in the rear with the, the next entire stock in the rear. So it looks like we're going up against a E92 Eurofighter. So we're going to try and start this thing in third. Then we'll kick it up in the fourth and see where we sit. Kick it in the fourth. E break in almost missed the uh, initiation point because it's a slow roll. So it does handle fourth pretty well. We are at a different point in the power band, so it's still holding its own, but it's. Uh, Definitely not redlining, so we have a little bit more bite, a little bit more pull, and more speed. So we're going to be running this thing in fourth here on Long Beach. I couldn't remember what gear I needed. But fourth seems to be the cake. 106 to 88. So we're going to have to chase down Christos Blush's Eurofighter and see if we can't get a good chase with being a little bit under gripped with these tires. But we're gonna enter it in late. We are well out of the tandem circle. So we're gonna have to cut this corner short to uh, get back in to the tandem circle. Right on his back bumper. I feel like we will be okay. I am gonna switch it to grippy tires all the way around and see how she rides with grippy tires all the way around. See if we can't get a little bit more speed. I'm not gonna wanna go against you, sir. I wanna switch up my tires. I'm sorry, but I am gonna switch up my tires. So we are going to run full Naxons all the way around and see how this thing grips up and see if we can't better our 103, 104 runs. 
with uh, some grippy tires all the way around. Still keeping the same tire pressures and everything. We're just going to try and uh, get some grip. That's a really aggressive looking uh, JZX. I like it. Definitely more grip in the car. Hard flick in. Definitely a lot more speed. It does handle okay on the tires all the way around. But I feel like I was doing a lot better without the grippy tires in the rear. But we're trying to catch up in that chase and grab doors. So that's why we had to add some grippy tires. We did get bested in the lead. So we're going to have to definitely make up in our chase. Hopefully we're able to uh, catch up. I'm not sure though. We're going to definitely be digging digging deep to try and uh, get on chase. But it looks like we have, we have the grip off the start. So now we are pretty much right in this man's door. Here we go. All up in this guy's business. All up in his JZX. Transition last minute. Kind of faltered off a little bit there, but uh, we were able to get a solid chase in our 180. Not enough to take the win though. So we are going to try and maybe rematch him because that was a very evenly matched race. As long as I can get a better lead, we should be okay. We're going to kick it in the fourth. And that's what lost us. Our initiation points right there. So we're going to have to make it up on the wall rides. A little bit off that wall. Let's try and stretch this out. Stretch out as many points as we can on the walls. There we go. Getting a little getting a little more up close and personal with that exit wall. But not too up close and personal. 100 flat to 119. Well, I think he will still probably best us. So the car does handle a lot better with the stock tires in the rear but that's how this car is set up for me and the way I drive it it's quite good that way but we're gonna get all up in this man's business or try to we kind of lost him there but I'm gonna catch back up throwing on the door back in formation another very solid chase 31,000 chase probably some of the best chasing I've done here at Long Beach with this car for sure. And uh, it looks like we are not gonna take the win either. We're close, but not close enough. So we're gonna switch up tracks, get one more run here before we end this episode off. I hope you guys enjoyed this build breakdown on the 180SX and the livery time lapse. We are gonna hit Road Atlanta real quick to finish this episode off, hopefully come off this episode on a win. We need to change our tire setup. Back to what I know, the car is good, and uh, it's a very interesting name. So we are going to send it in fourth gear and uh, see how we can get around Road Atlanta here. Hard flick, good initiation points, a little bit off that clip. We have to stretch it out, bouncing around, but we're still uh, still solid. The Wise Fab Liberty definitely... Uh, a new personal favorite of mine. Going to be doing redoing the JZX probably as well with some uh, aggressive liveries. Doing some more uh, livery uh, time lapse videos with some more in depth liveries, not some simple clean liveries. We're going to be doing some like replica liveries as well. So we did get a very solid lead. So we're going to finish this off in the chase and hopefully with a win. And then make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below as always. I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I, the continued support on this torture series as well as the Forza and everything and the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Tap that bell notification if you want to be part of the notification gang. I would appreciate the support and all that comes with coming and getting the videos right away. We are definitely not close as I want to be, but close enough to definitely take the win. So as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track and on the next one.